got a hut, got a hut right here. Um, they've been working. Oh, here we go. They've been working up around the house here. Pretty simple. I just pulled his foot off, but there's a big rat right there. Caught him by the back leg. Got a duke. Number one stop loss. What I do, and it's pretty cheap, is I get, I go to the store, and I get a bunch of one by twos. They're 75 cents a piece, and I rip them on a table saw. So I have a one inch by one inch, eight foot piece. Cut them off, you end up paying, you know, 10 cents a piece for your steaks. Um, you know, if that's the route you want to go, that's what I do. I'll reset this here. Alright, this is my, my very next set actually, and uh, back here is a rat, there's a rat pad, see him floating there, looks like another good sized rat, try to get this in the bottom here so you guys can get a better look at everything, there we go, got my snake right here once again, I know it's kind of windy out here today, but bear with me. Caught this one in a, in a bat, was a bat, that was a back foot catch. Another good sized rat. Caught it in a number one Sleepy, sleepy Creek Long Spring. Normally I don't like using long springs um, unless uh, unless we're sure the rat's going to drown and all you need is a few inches of water. A foot is nice but here, you know, they, they slip off and drown anyway. Reset it, move on to the next show. Alright, here we go. Next set even, third set in a row. Got a rat pad set right there, there's my stake. Right there, we got a rat floating. Put my stick in the ground here for you. There's not gonna be a lot of shots of me, but there'll be lots of shots of my catches and how I'm setting my traps. Oh, another nice rat. We got our Number number one and a half coil spring on this one. Front foot catch. And get some of the stuff out of the way here for you. Push on that coil spring, get them out. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try anyway. There we go, wraps out. tangled up a little bit there there we go you know open water trapping a little bit more work but it's a lot of fun another rat that's my third you know when I set these traps yesterday I wasn't quite sure every I mean it had there was a lot of good sign here but it wasn't like dynamic awesome you know I, you know I, I wasn't quite sure how good this place is gonna be and so far, I mean, three for three is 
pretty darn good. I'll take it any day. There we go. Got my trap set up again. Put it back on that pad. What I do is, I have some, I just have some stovepipe wire. Um, you can use snare cable if you want so you don't have to keep changing your wire. I just wire it down about four inches below the water to that stake and I wire it to my trap chain. Put the trap on there and the rat gets in there, jumps off, gets caught in anything it wants to. Bam. Trap number four is a 110. Um, the water's only a couple feet deep here. I could see these runs yesterday, no problem. Um, I saw this run, it was getting kind of dark, but I set it up. And you know, the kind of the nice thing is I, I always bring a few extra traps on my check because you never know if you're gonna run into something. And what happened was when I walked up, I see the rat's got another run up there. It's only maybe four or five inches deep and we're gonna set that one up here also. So, I'm gonna shove this in the bottom here. Now, for, unfortunately, I left my rubber gloves in the truck. So, I gotta pull this up. There, look at that. 110, another nice rat. Luckily for me, for me, it's it's uh, around 40 degrees out today, so I can I can actually reset these traps and not totally freeze my hands off. And uh, I can I can feel this hole, very nice hole running up into the bank there. Shouldn't be too easy to reset or too hard to reset. Find the hole. I just you know you can get Connie placers. I don't do that much 110 trapping, so I just. Put it in the hole and lean it towards the bank. Get the rats just about every time. Then up here, right there, there's a rat run. I'm gonna stick this in the bottom here for you folks. You know, another thing that I do is I super glue white or I super glue my flagging to uh, clothespins. You know, pretty cheap. You know, you can take them off and put them on. Don't have to keep tying flags. And so on and so forth. Every time you're tra oh, trapping, I'll shove this in. Set my 110 real quick here. It's like so. This run is very shallow, and I mean very shallow. I'll set this in here just like this. There we go. Just like that. All right. Another, another pad trap here. And there's the red sit at, and right next to it, you can see a nice fat muskrat in there. so far I had one one trap that didn't have nothing in it and it was just nothing in it it wasn't sprung or anything not a bad rat I haven't found any haven't gotten any real kits yet so that's good Down. My rat line here, and uh, I got a number one set for a rat on this house over here. But apparently, beaver like to go in them also. One, Sleepy Creek, got a little beaver in it. Uh, kind of interesting. 
Well, we're gonna move that trap someplace else. I'll turn the camera off here too so I can dispatch them quick. Well, this is rat trap number six, actually number seven. The sixth one had a beaver in it. <laughs> um, I got a 110 here. All right, this is my my very next set actually, and uh, back here is a rat, there's a rat pad. See him floating there? Looks like another good sized rat. I'll try to get this in the bottom here so you guys can get a better look at everything. There we go. here today but bear with me caught this one in a, in a bat with a bat that was a back foot catch another good size rat caught it in a number one sleepy sleepy creek long spring Normally I don't like using long springs um, unless uh, unless we're sure the rat's going to drown and all you need is a few inches of water. A foot is nice but here, you know, they, they slip off and drown anyway. Reset it, move on to the next show. Next trap. Oh, it's a, it's a giant rat too. Look at that guy. He didn't... Uh, didn't die or drown so I'm gonna have to dispatch them but uh, I'll dispatch them and I'll reset the trap and uh, I'll see you next see you guys in the next set got a nice rat hut nice rat hut here had a pad trap set right up against the house here put her back right about like that I've always had somebody videotape me which is nice, but uh, if you don't have someone getting a, getting some, just, just a stick for the back of your, your camera case. Mine has a little kick out thing on it, so I just ran the stick through that, and and it works just as good as, without all the bouncing. There we go. Oh, if I can get this guy out of here. It's the number one Sleepy Creek. That's another, that's a nice rat. Nice big rat. Number ten today so far. It's been uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a good morning. Really good morning. No traps so far. Um, I got a couple beaver traps on a on a beaver house around the corner, and actually I have a, I have a, I have a couple snares. I have one conna bear and two snares, and. Uh, I got a snare right around the corner where they've been going up and chewing trees down. There was a big beaver out last night and uh, slapping his tail, you know, and all that good stuff they like to do when you're in their territory. Hopefully, he made it into his into one of my 
snares or my conibear, bear, that'd be really nice. Whoa, a little too much. There we go. Oh, yeah. A little too late on the trigger there, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. I know there are ladies that trap out there. And that's great. I take my daughter out trapping all the time. She loves it. So if you get a chance, take your boys and girls out trapping. It's kind of a dying sport for a lot of people. Put that bad trap right up in there. Well, I said I had a snare set up around the corner where they've been cutting trees. Look what I got. Big beaver. Um, oh, and he's not dead. He was just laying there under the water. Ah, nice. We'll uh, dispatch this one and check some more rat traps. Ah, that's a big beaver too. Nice.